I'd like to dedicate the opening remarks of this summary to our own crack master, Romano Akira, who has been serialized in Jump for the past six years now. Yay! Congratulations! It's not like you'll ever hear this, but it's okay, it's a thought that counts! Yay! In celebration, we were treated to a delightfully arousing front cover of Jump and also a color spread, which indicates that the Vongla have reached levels so awesome that they've actually been able to harness it and use it to propel themselves into space. Meanwhile, in the actual chapter, the news of the defeat of Gokureto's own personal Jonas brothers, the Gi... Uh, the, uh, Gi... 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 The, the, the Russian guys. The defeat of the Russian guys shocks and astounds the Shimon and Bangla families. Suzuki asks if the culprits have been caught. Reborn admits that despite the terribly messy nature of their deaths in which they exploded like horrifically shaken up human soda cans, no one's been caught yet, which causes Suzuki to make the Reborn equivalent of a just as planned face. Um, yeah, to everyone who is pulling for her to be good, I, I would probably stop right now. I mean, maybe that's just a gut feeling. But yeah, just, you know, secret between me and you. You might not want to keep your hopes up. Suna is understandably shaken by the news, but never fear his gang of loyal fanboys are here to make sure that no harm comes to the Bangla 10th. They all stampede outside like a pack of five-year-olds chasing after an errant ice cream truck. And all this time we find out that Enma has been playing with Suna's nuts. The Suna is at first flustered by the rapid stampede of men out of his room. He soon finds that he might be a little excited because he realizes that he is alone with Enma in his bedroom and there is nuts. Enma seems to have similar ideas considering how he's giving nuts a look that says, Hey, what are you doing tonight, huh? However, he seems to get embarrassed when he realizes that Suna's caught him giving nuts bedroom eyes and beats a quick retreat going, I should probably go too, bye! Not long after, the Ninth's Guardians come rolling up to Suna's crib in typical Mafia style, riding in a black sedan. I can see it all now. If Suna had any shit-headed neighbors outside at the time, one of them would be going, Heh <laughs> Suna, it looks like the Mafia is here to see you, and they wouldn't realize how true the statement was until one day they found a disembodied horse head underneath their covers. Suna is whisked off to the Ninth's hotel, where he finds the Ninth in his hotel room, watering a veritable greenhouse worth of plants, despite the fact that the Ninth has only been in Japan for three days. Suna calls out, Grandpa! And one of the Ninth's guardians makes a disapproving face, though I'm pretty sure he only looks angry because his name is Coyote Nougat. Yeah, I think he started making that face the moment his parents signed the birth certificate and hasn't stopped making it since. The knight sits Suna down for a chat in which he tells Suna that he knows he doesn't want to become the Vongola boss and that he really isn't the proper guy for the job in the first place but because Suna shits happy bunnies and sparkles and unicorns and friendship, he's really the only one who can return the once noble Vongola to their pre-corrupted state. Apparently, like Suna, Primo was a young unicorn shitter and thus the ninth has perfect faith in Suna's ability to lead the Vongola as Primo once did. And then the knight leans over and tells Suna, Oh, by the way, if you want to stop the fighting and the killing now, you should probably become the boss. No pressure or anything! Suna, who is clearly not perturbed by any of this mafia talk, returns home to find his wife, Enma, sitting at the table waiting obediently for his return. The only non-wifely thing that Enma does is forget the fact that he should be naked and wearing only an apron. But it's okay, he's only been a wife for, what, five days? He'll pick up on it eventually. And it's then that Suna realizes that they're alone, in his bedroom, for real reals this time, and decides to maybe pop the question. And I'm hoping it's going to be, Hey, Enma, do you want to run away with me in Mafia Loop? Back at the hotel, Reborn and the Ninth sit down like old buddies to discuss whether or not Suna will actually become the boss. Meanwhile, the Ninth starts to pull the sheet off of a mysterious box, and whatever could be inside. The Ninth got the Sin of the Vongola. This is apparently the item that Suna is going to inherit at the Inheritance Ceremony. Hence the reason it is called the Inheritance Ceremony, I suppose. Um, personal opinion says that it's actually a bullet filled with testosterone, and at the ceremony they're going to load it into a gun and shoot Suna with it, causing his balls to finally drop. If you haven't been doing Mafia math, you might have noticed that this chapter was 20 pages, which is 30 less than the projected 50. It turns out that Jump failed and made a typo when updating their website, and put 50 pages instead of 20 pages at first. 
I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I was looking forward to 50 pages worth of screaming into the microphone. And then I realized that it took me hours to do this one recording because I am slow and lazy. So maybe 50 pages might not have been such a great idea for me since I'll fall behind even more considering that I'm skipping chapter 290 right now because not a lot happens except for dudes exploding and Goku Dada fantasizing about tentacle rape. Anyways, happy six year anniversary, Reborn! Basu out!